cutting that I've ever done for one of these so we'll see how it goes um, I don't definitely don't want to cut these like super super mature leaves because these are the only ones that I have so far on this plant and I'm really happy with how they look how the fenestrations look um, I think they're really beautiful so I think what I'm gonna do is hold these this is camera number two for the closer up shots because there's no way that I can move this giant behemoth closer to that camera. So so it looks like I have a couple of aerial roots. One right here and then, I don't know if you can see it, but one right here too. So I think what I'm going to do is cut right above it, but I still have to get this guy out. So I'm going to keep trying to do that. I guess before I start talking about where I'm going to cut it, um, this is a Monstera Deliciosa, and this plant was definitely one of the first wishlist plants that I ever purchased. Um, I got it as, not a wee baby, but it definitely didn't have these big, beautiful leaves on the plant yet. Um, these plants get so big and I'm very excited um, to when it finally does grow massively because I just love the way that they look. I think they're really, really beautiful. This is what a baby leaf looks like. They don't have any of the fenestrations. They get them over time. So um, this is about a year's worth of growth for me. And I just repotted in this ceramic pot and it has like a drainage hole and everything. But I think what I'm learning is I'm liking plastic pots better for the bigger um, plants that I have. Just because, you know, if I need to, for whatever, pot them in a different, bigger pot, they're easier to just kind of pick up and cut away rather than lugging this giant ceramic thing um, around and like getting this out is going to be a pain in the butt. So um, I don't know if you can see it back here. Back there is my bird of paradise and that is in a plastic pot and it just has a cover pot over top of it. So it's easy, a lot easier to move around or fertilize when I need to. So this guy, like I said, I've had him for a year and these big beautiful leaves just started to come in. Um, I'll do like a close-up of, of the leaves. This is where I think I'm going to cut him. It's these two leaves right here. So this leaf was actually, I feel like, one of the first leaves that had any kind of fenestrations in it. Fenestrations? Fenestrations? Help me out here, people. But look how beautiful that is. And I think having two leaves in a single, um, like, I'm going to grow it in here. I think it's really beautiful. So I'm going to cut these two off. I have to kind of do a little bit of digging because you want to cut below the node, which is, oh, boy. oh, you know what? This might be the third leaf. I didn't even look in there. You want to cut below the node, which is kind of like the elbow or the joint of the plant, like, I don't know, about an inch or so as much as you can and if you can grab an aerial root which is one of these guys it will help promote more growth so that's what I'm going to try to do with these two leaves I might just pluck this one off just because I 
much rather like the way the two leaves look and this one is still a baby and that's beautiful to some people but it's not for me and it's getting a little wild right now this guy is like super super long okay so let's do some digging shall we and look at this this is a new leaf I'm just going to kind of dig around. I was going to wear my uh, gloves, but I decided not to. This is my little watering bird. Got it off of Amazon. It's glass. Okay. How's everybody doing with this whole uh, quarantine thing? Can you see me? I, I feel like I'm in a jungle, and I'm here for it. Look at this leaf. I can't get over how beautiful that is. Yeah, how's everybody doing? I had a moment there where I became a zombie for a couple of days and I just like couldn't function. Um, so I'm kind of glad that I'm feeling back to normal. It's been a pretty wild ride. All the updates and everything from Governor. I'm in Maryland, by the way. trying to get in here. Looks like I have a couple of aerial roots here. In fact, I was going to wear gloves, but then I decided since my nails were already kind of messed up that screw it, I didn't need them. Just trying to get this guy gently out. I feel like their, their roots break so easily, so I don't want to, definitely don't want to break it. Oh yeah, got it out. Cool. Okay, so I have my one little aerial root out. Should I get another one? Can I grab this guy? So here's the aerial root that I have. I'm definitely going to have to clean that off, but look how much growth. Ah, it's exciting. And then the internodes, which are the space between each um, leaf, I believe, they're really tiny so what I'm gonna do is just cut right here so that gives about I don't know like an inch between the node and the next aerial root so I think I'm just gonna go with the one root I think it'll be really pretty it'll look nice and simple so the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to take my scissors yes all the scissors that I sterilized um, with 90% isopropyl alcohol. I don't have gardening shears. That's on the list this year, whenever the next time I can go out is. But um, for now, this will do. So you definitely want to make sure you sterilize whatever you're cutting them with um, because, because otherwise it will introduce bacteria onto the plant and then you'll end up with, you know, a sick plant. Not like sick, but like sick and sad, and it'll make you sad, so don't do that. Okay. Oh my god. Get in there. <sighs> so nerve wracking. I hate it. Okay, so I'm going to go wash this off so I can put this in the vase that I have and um, it won't have any dirt or anything on it so the water stays nice and clean. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned her off and I'm just going to pop her right in. And it's just so pretty and simple and it, it's just a nice little extra decorative piece in my office. Um, I have most of my plants in my office just because it gets the best, most dynamic amount of light, um, but my monster is actually in my living room, so I don't really get to see him that often, so I would like to have a nice little cutting for in my office, so I'm going to put this where I want, which I'm thinking maybe on my desk, and uh, yeah, that's it, so thank you for watching, bye! Thank you.